CataractCoach.com. This is the best of Cataract Coach with our expert panelists, Dr. Rosa Bragamili and Dr. Deepinder Dhaliwal. Oh, I hope this is a killer case. Watch this one. Oh my God. This is, this is not me operating, okay? I blocked the surgeon's name off. For, for, there you go. She's blacked out. So obviously a dense cataract. No, white cataract. Very soft cataract. Looks like a very young patient here. Don't know the age. Don't know too many details. We get a rexus done. Beautiful rexus. Look at that. Wash it out. Nucleus is gone. There's no nucleus. It's just gone. So the, e- the easy part of the case is no- lens removal. Did I tell you about retinarounds.com? <laughs> we just, um, it's, a, it's killer. You'll love it. I promise you. All right. Here we go. Going to put a lens in. And now here, when I need your advice, what to do here. Here we go. Uh, oh, 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 yes. like, now what? Hold on Maybe, to the eye yeah. and get the yes. insert. Counter in traction. Stop. I know. A little oh. bit more viscoelastic in the eye. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now what? Use the forceps to pull the lens out. Use the forceps to push the lens in. Enlarge the incision somehow. Pull out one haptic to make room. I'm not sure, still thinking. <laughs> Just pull it out and start over. Pull it out and start over? Yep. What do you think, DP? I, I would uh, put a little bit more viscoelastic in the eye and see. Pulling it out, is you can, you're can you always safe because you can just refold it. If you push it in, it's just like so big, it's going to really stretch out that room. So depending on, you know, you can try to push it and see if it goes after you deepen, but usually it's, it's kind of stuck, so you just pull it out. I think this proves the point that the cornea does not stretch. You cannot stretch your incision. That is correct, no. <laughs> I didn't do a cornea fellowship. I don't even know how to spell cornea, but I know you can't stretch the cornea. So what if you want to, the other option here, you could, if you pull one haptic out of the taco fold, maybe it'll be a little more room. We get the trailing haptic out and then you could get it in better. Or if you want to enlarge the incision, I'm just trying to think how to do it. Maybe you just go next to it and then cut towards the eye well. Like no, the that's the, the fastest way is to pull the thing okay, out. Okay, well, 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 we're going to push it in. Get in my belly. Oh, uh. oh. oh my God. God. Oh, oh, it's, so uh, oh, hey, the best is yet to come. Oh, God. You know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen next. Uh, and he's not refilling the eye. Yeah. Okay, so, here, here, here. Oh. refill the eye. Refill the eye. Wait, wasn't there a pair already? Oh, right, there is now. Refill the eye. Oh, that seems okay. a lot. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. You're awake now, huh? Oh, God. There, it works. Oh. See? Oh, it's in the... Vitreous. Oh. What an idiot. Sorry. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Rose is tough as nails! I'm afraid of both of you. Okay, now what? Take it out. You feel... <laughs> now, now you feel better? Oh. Now you feel better, don't you? Oh. you okay, now to the vitreous. What do you want to do now? Bring it up and leave it in the sulcus. Lift it and do a vitrectomy, explain it, replace it with three piece, explain it, add to vitrectomy, then three piece. I just want to cry. Watching it, I just want to cry. Yeah, huh. it's very painful. Wow. I just want to cry. Okay, so what do you, just, what do you want to do now? Explain it? So the lens needs to be explanted. You're right. So you need to see and assess whether you have vitreous. Oh, honey, that, that thing was in mid-vitreous, okay. solidly. So it needs, if it's in mid-vitreous, then you just need a retina surgeon to take it out. And do nothing else. Don't go fishing after. But if it's Oof. there, pull it up. I would do a vitrectomy. I would leave it in the eye until I did my vitrectomy. And then, and then I'd put my three-piece in, scaffold it, and then explant that eye well. Oh, God. That's a... You have to take that eye well out. And if it's too far down, you just close up the eye and send it to retina. Have them take it out. The danger here, too, the young person, solid vitreous, no PVD pre-existing. This retina risk is super high now. Super high. So now, just um, let's see what's going to happen. Probably a large incision to get this. You got to get it out. That's not been vitreous. It's still hanging on there. Okay. Which you should have done. But, where, but where's the other? Like, one happens way down deep oh, somewhere. You should, should cut the lens. What's he doing? Is he going to fold it? Or you can taco fold it if you can. Twist it out. Cataract coach style. There's vitreous yeah. everywhere. Yeah. That's so it's just going to twist out the vitreous with it? <laughs> I'm just saying, I wouldn't have done this in the first place. Don't blame me. Ooh. Oh, just a yank. Oh, Grab and yank. Wow. Okay. Cornea schmornia, right? Vitreous schmitreous. Right, basically. <laughs> so now you got to clean this up here. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
I, you know, I, I'm thankful that the surgeon sent the video in, but we can all learn right. together in all oh, seriousness. 100%. This is very brave to send it in, and I, we appreciate it. We've all seen or done. Right. This is how we learn together. We regret. I'm sure he'll never do this again, or her. I don't know who it is. Well, I think everyone in this room will never do this now. Now we've learned a very, very good lessons. This is like the world has learned not to ever do this. In fact, it inspired me to make a video recently about the correct way of doing wound assist. And it's not shoving the eye into the nasal canvas so you can't see the corny anymore. <laughs> so now finally cleaning up. You probably want some triamcin loan. It's hard to detect otherwise where your you, you vitreous is. Exactly. And I think the patient can do okay with a three-piece lens. Luckily, you got a nice looking rexus. So here's the viscoelastic going inside. But this is super stressful. Here comes the lens. Let's see. I like that the incision's plenty large. Wait, wait, is that upside down? No, it's good. That's good. Just making sure. So get the lens in. I was at a live surgery in Italy in, uh, in last month. And poor surgeon was so stressed out, put the three-piece lens in upside down. So you never know. You gotta always, I always try to double check my own brain. Like, hello, 7L rule, 7L, always. Always, always, always. And so cleaning this up very nicely here at the end. Patient can still do okay, but wow, that's a really important lesson here in this case. Don't try, just shove it in the eye. It's so much easier. If you, if you put the injector and it's just too tight, just make the incision bigger. Exactly. You're just so much better off here. And I want to put a suture in too. I think you really need to do that. But, um, oh, we got another great case. This is Casey Love. We got one more coming up here. If you notice in the bottom right corner inside that red reflex, that's our overall timer, by the way. Cool, huh? I didn't even notice that. What? I'm slick. Well, I don't even see it. I see it now? No. In the red reflex. In the, oh, in the logo. Oh, 